Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to send parameters, so send data to the Swift code that we have already implemented. So that way you can, you know, send data and do something accordingly. You could maybe be doing some sort of database call or, you know, HTTP request on your Swift file, in your Swift file, and you might need to pass some data in. For example, like a username or a password. Okay, so if you haven't watched the previous video where I covered calling you know, a simple method in Swift, recommend that you watch that one because this is going to be leading on from that video. And this is what we have from the previous video. You click that, you get hi from Swift, which is implemented in Swift right here. So to actually pass in parameters, on the dot side, there's very little modification we have to do. We just have to create a map. And this is going to be a string, dynamic, and in here we need to have key value pairs. So this is the key data type, this is the value data type, put dynamic so you could, you know, pass in a number, you could pass in a string, pass whatever you want. So for the key, I'm going to put val1, but again you can call whatever you want. Then you put colon and then the value. I'm gonna put this, just the string, the number one, but you can put whatever you want, exactly. It, it, you know, literally whatever. And the last thing we need to do is just pass it in, just do send map, and that's it. That's for the dot side. Now we need to actually check for this value and handle it accordingly in Swift. So switching over to the Xcode project, what we want to basically do in here is within our check for the method. So once we've got to this part, we need to say guard let. So I'm going to create this variable called arguments args equal to method for dot arguments else. I want to come for a return here. So this is basically going to get the arguments from the method call. If there are no arguments, it will go into this little, you know, code branch. And for now, it's just going to return out of it. You could handle it in some other way. So that's what that's doing. Now, you would say let my args equals to args as. And we're going to date up. We're going to put string colon any. Now, we're going to say let val1 equal to my args question mark and the argument that we are checking for is val1 so this right here this part needs to match what we put here because that's the key that's the actual name of the parameter and this is going to be as a string and we're good to go now now we can just say if val1 is equal to the string one then what we're going to say is result yay from swift else we're just going to say result yay. and that's it we're, we're, we're literally ready to run this so if i save that file go back remember i mentioned in the previous video if you make any changes to your native code, you need to shut your application down and rerun it or re-debug re it because it will rebuild. I mean, it will build your iOS project or your Android if you're doing that side of things with the new modifications. Doesn't take very long to be fair, so we won't have to, and it's done. Okay, so now if I click that, we get yay from Swift. If I was to change this to the value two, because we have not handled that, you could do multiple else if to handle it. And if you have multiple parameters, you could just have another one of these, maybe val2 equals, you know, the check for val2, or whatever the parameter name is. But because the modification that I'm doing is only on the dark side, I can just do a hot reload. And then if I click it, we get nay, and we get nay because we have not handled for the value two on the parameter val1. And that's it, that's literally how you 
passing parameters into your Swift native code. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.